when you get to Sonoma, you chill out. It just becomes a slower paced life. People are walking to town to have that cup of coffee, read the paper in a cafe, um, take a walk around the plaza or take a hike up the Overlook Trail. Many, many Sonoma events are based around food, food and wine. So if you look at the calendar of events here, most of the events are based on, on food. We have the film festival here in town and they always um, pair food or wine with their movies based on what the style of movie is. At the jazz festival they always have top chefs that come in from various restaurants and they do food and wine pairings there and it's just uh, always incorporated into every aspect of life. It seems whether it's food or it's art, you know, all kinds of artisans have descended on Sonoma and it's a wonderful place to be if you're really interested in art paintings as well because there are galleries all over the square and also there's the Sonoma Valley Museum of Art which is an incredible place to go and visit and the shows change out regularly. And we have one of the most extraordinary plein air events in the country I think. They bring in artists from all over the world, all over the country and they paint for a week in the Sonoma Valley and really capture the essence of what Sonoma is. I think Sonoma really uh, is the place that slow food was designed to be. You can have anything you want here from Connecticut style pizza to a prime steak. Um, you can have uh, great Italian food. Um, you can have great Thai food. You can have the finest fine dining in Sonoma and you can also have a great meal um, with locally grown products sitting on the grass at, on the plaza at the farmer's market. The farmer's market is every Tuesday night and it's a really fun event. People come with their families, they bring their children, they have live music usually and we have farmers that come in from all around the Sonoma Valley to sell their goods and there's also quite a few restaurateurs that come in as well and sell you know a variety of different foods that you can go and just bring a bottle of wine and have a nice picnic. You can have everything here from uh, if you want a romantic B&Bs to you know, a beautiful spa where you can go and just relax you know, with a nice swimming pool where you can go out and just enjoy the breezes we have during the day here. Yeah, we're just so busy in our day-to-day -day lives these days with everything that people have going on and what's constantly going, going, going. And Sonoma is just a lovely place to come, unplug, unwind, sip a glass of wine and relax.